the ghetto that I even know that and even notice stuff like that. Ugh. I'm disgusted in myself. What's up, y'all? So I'm in my favorite store, Walmart, per usual. And um, it's snowing out here. There was like a two-hour school delay because there was so much snow out in the streets. But I'm glad there was still school. I'm with my youngest daughter. I'm going to be getting like a few gifts right now. But um, yeah, like I kind of came around with my daughter's nap time so she can be tired. You know how... They say when you sleepy, you like you drunk or something. So hopefully she can get what I'm getting. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's probably like, girl, I ain't forgetting nothing. But right now I'm about to go look for hair dye because got some spots, some blue spot, but it came right out of my hair. It was stupid. It was cute. But and my youngest daughter pick a gift or whatever. So maybe that would distract her. But I can't provide under the tree, honey. IRS will in a couple months, okay? So you can catch me at tax season. Don't be real with, okay? But I'm definitely gonna at least get them something they want and then I'm gonna grab a couple of things, you know, clothes, stuff like that. But they need at least something they really, really want, so. The tree is gonna be white, red, and gold. So I wanna just get some cute wrapping paper that kind of matches with the whole tree scheme. So yeah. Ooh, this is perfect. Gold, red, and white. Like, okay. But Zam, five dollars for some wrapping paper that's gonna get ripped up. I mean, these are four of them for the same price. They got four of these in here for the same price. I'm like, I'm thinking more so up of that alley, y'all, because they got me effed up if they think Zam near eight dollars for one roll of wrapping paper, like. <laughs> These ain't all that cute, y'all, but it's gonna have to do. Prices around Christmas time will humble your ass real quick, okay? Does anybody else suck at wrapping gifts? Like, I really suck at wrapping gifts. Like, it's crazy, like. Where's the black sand is at? Damn. Okay guys, so you know how I was telling you that I want to start doing like um, manifesting and stuff like that. Um, right now I'm in like the stationary aisle so I can get like some cute pins and stuff. So I could be manifesting all cute, you know, with my cute pins and stuff, like all interactive with it. So I'm trying to find some, um, you know, gel pins or something like that. I also want to get a vision board so I might actually grab that up today. Um, damn, pins are expensive. $11 pins, bro. Had your wife and had your husband because they raping everybody out here. Bro, like, what I'm about to be writing? <laughs> you feel me? Like, what the hell? Like, what I'm about to be saying on this pen and pad? Like, my tch, my dreams better come true if I'm spending that much money. All right, how much are these? $3.97? <laughs> okay. So I just grabbed um, a notebook and also like a manifestation book. I grabbed two notebooks, basically like two one journal, one notebook because I feel like I need two to kind of separate like what I'm, you know, what I'm gonna be writing down. So I just grabbed two instead. One second. Oh my God, y'all! I hate when people walk up on me, especially when I'm like vlogging. Like, girl, if you don't back up, because I don't know what you my video. But, um, yeah, guys, so I got one journal, one notebook, um, just to separate my thoughts. And, um, grabbing some toys right now. I can't show y'all what I'm grabbing just in case the wrong person sees this video. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we need tissue.
Yeah, this is exactly why I love Walmart because it's always just like a one stop shop. So I'm just trying to find some cookies that I should be making for Santa. Y'all, they better know. Like, I be saying Santa, but they better know. Like, <laughs> Santa didn't buy this. This was me, okay? Ain't no fat, jolly old white man about to take my credit. Y'all, I'm dying because I was like trying to get some gifts, you know what I'm saying? So I grabbed a couple things just now, but I'm over here like, you know, I'm gonna just get a couple of gifts like in front of my youngest daughter because she's gonna forget. And she's probably like, says I ain't no damn newborn, I'm gonna remember all this. So um, <laughs> most of the stuff I think I'm gonna grab off Amazon because my oldest daughter, a couple of things that she been telling me about that's already on Amazon, so I already know. She, sis already sent me the link, so. Well, yeah, doing a little food shopping. Just I was just trying to see like if there was any gifts that I want to grab from him. But there's nothing really like, you know, y'all. This um, this generation, everybody loves devices and stuff like that. And online shopping is just so much easier now. So yeah, I think I'm gonna grab most of the stuff off Amazon. Y'all, what I love about Amazon is that you don't have to deal with people because honestly, that's what turns me off about going shopping because I don't like. Listen, I do online shopping for clothes, everything. I just gotta come for food, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't gotta like that to be having somebody go food shopping for me, but I hate shopping, I hate the lines, I hate being around people. Like, sis is just antisocial as fuck. Like, it's weird because I'm a whole YouTuber, so it's like, I like to interact or whatever, but not all that, not all like that, okay? <laughs> Catch me on the screen, sis. Catch me on the screen. What is you guys' favorite cereal? I really like Lucky Charms. I love me some good old Lucky Charms. And I want another one. I like Honey Nut Checks too. That's what I'm really looking for. So to all my stoners out there, what is your favorite snack like to eat when you're stoned? Um, oh, he must have just got out. <laughs> the ghetto, okay? The fact that I can tell this dude just got out because I don't know about in your city or state, but when people just get out, they have like the plain black jacket. I don't know, y'all. Y'all didn't see what I just seen, but yeah, y'all. So when you first get out out here, like you have a plain black jacket, some plain no name brand jeans, and some plain ass shoes. And this dude had all that on. Like, bro, did you just get out and just come to Walmart? Like, if so, I hear you. Like, you know, get your stuff, boo. But the ghetto that I even know that and even notice stuff like that, ugh, I'm disgusted in myself. So I'm still in Walmart, y'all, and I almost fell. And I, you know, I caught my balance so I don't fall, but now I'm kind of mad. Like, sis, why would you catch your balance from falling in Walmart? Like, are you trying to have a Merry Christmas or not? <laughs> Like y'all, I, I was about to I was about to go back and just slip again, but they probably would have looked at them cameras like this girl's lying like a mug. Wow, now it's sunny outside. Welcome to New England. So what I'm gonna do is put these groceries away, then um you know dye my hair because listen y'all, I don't even know if y'all ever tried splat, but listen splat it'll make your hair turn the color, but it it comes out. Like, it almost like it stains your hair. So when you wash it, the stain just comes out. Like, it, it's not like it really dyes it. It's just like a stain on it. I can't really explain it, but, y'all, so you know how I dyed my hair the midnight blue? It's already gone. My hair's already like a dusty brown because I, I bleached it first. So my hair's already a dusty brown, y'all. Like, sis, my hair was supposed to be a blue black. I mean, a midnight blue, which is like a dark blue. And now my hair is dusty brown, like, ew. So, yeah, guys, so like I was saying earlier in Walmart, I got my little manifestation, um, a journal now so I'm kind of excited about that at this which is cute because it says bring it on so I'm like oh like bring bring it on dreams come on like let's manifest this thing you know what I'm saying so I got this little bring it on journal as my little manifestation book which is so cute and then I just got a regular notebook um I got a regular just composition notebook just to help me like plan things you know write notes and stuff like that but then I got my little pens you know what I'm saying little um colorful pens it's crazy how much walmart was about to try to charge for some pens i'm excited that i got this gingerbread house y'all i honestly i don't know when's the last time i even did, did a gingerbread house like oh my god i'm so excited like i'm gonna do it with the kids obviously but i'm definitely excited to do it myself like look at me trying to get in the spirit y'all look at me 
Go, man. Mm. And y'all, I need my nails done. Like, it's definitely time for a refill. So, I I definitely got a nail vlog coming at y'all soon. Because this need to get it together soon. But for all the zaddies that be acting like they my zaddy in the comment section, your girl need her nails done. So, you got your girl looking real raggedy needing a refill. But you want to be in my comment section acting like you zaddy? Cash at me. Cash at me, baby. So, I know I look kind of crazy, y'all. But, fuck y'all. I'm at home. <laughs> okay? So, I'm about to... I'm tearing up a... um. A tuna melt that I just made just now with some Cape Cod chips, Mad Bomb. And I'm watching, I'm watching the Elf. Okay, y'all. So I was just sitting here relaxing. Your girl almost done dozed off. So I'm like, let me get up and start dyeing my hair. So I just started dyeing my hair. Um, I forgot what the brand of this dye is, but it's the same um brand that I use when I dye my hair purple, and it was long lasting. It wasn't all staining everywhere. Like you know, this was good. So I'm gonna leave this on for a little while. I'm gonna continue to watch my little movie. Y'all, I got dye all over me. I got dye on my face. That's why I be changing my clothes when I be dyeing my hair because I be like a big ass little kid trying to do something. Like, baby girl. Yeah, and it looks cute. You probably can't tell. It probably just looks black to y'all. But it's actually pretty cute, like in the light and stuff. So, anyways, that's the side of point or whatever. But so I'm over here trying to be responsible. Like, you know what? Let me start paying. I'll put a couple dollars towards certain things. Cause it's like, you know. Christmas is not about balling out and getting shit cut off and getting freaking 30 day notices and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I just like to make sure everything's all looking good, you know, before I start trying to cash out on stuff and then be looking like a damn fool. So, um, I'm looking through my, you know, mobile banking and stuff and I see that there was like a $25 transaction on Facebook. I'm like... I'm barely even on Facebook, so I don't know if I done got, my card done got tampered with, or somebody done, like, did some fraudulent shit to my account. Well, obviously, because I didn't make that, you know, I didn't make that transaction. So, I called my bank, like, um, hello, like, I'm over here trying to be responsible, trying to put a couple dollars in, a couple dollars there, and maybe overpay this bill, you know what I'm saying? So, I got a little bit more room to, room to breathe, you know what I'm saying? And... Motherfuckers are taking twenty five dollars on my account, even though twenty five dollars ain't a lot. Shit, twenty five dollars that I didn't spend. Um, give me back my money, bruh. Like, hold on. So I called the bank and they're gonna. I had to get my um. I gotta get a whole new car sent to me and all that BS, y'all. So I'm like, ugh. I was definitely trying to do some online shopping, you know, once I, you know, paid some of the stuff off. But I definitely, um, before that, I definitely paid a couple things off, though, um, which I feel good about because it's like, that's not cute to be spending money on gifts because that's really not what Christmas is about, to be spending so much money on gifts and then you getting shit cut off. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the vibes, like, at all. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> that would just trigger my anxiety and we don't have time for that. What's up, y'all? So, it's a couple hours later, and I was just, you know, relaxing, watching um, a manifest video on YouTube. I don't even know the YouTuber's name. I never watched her before. So, yeah, I just seen a really good video of hers about, like, manifesting and stuff like that, and um, it was just so motivating, and, like, y'all, I'm so ready to manifest tonight. Like, I'm going to manifest, like, in a second, because now, like, because it's, like, more so, like, a mind thing. You have to have, like, your mind into it. You have to have, like, the vibe, the energy to be doing it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm kind of feeling like that right now, so I think I'm about to, like, manifest and basically plan out some of my YouTube videos. Like, I feel like manifestation is real, so I'm excited to do that tonight y'all so um comment down below if you ever looked into manifestation or if you ever tried manifestation or if you believe in it you know what i'm saying maybe you never practice it but you believe it and stuff like that like let me know how y'all feel about manifestation because i'm super excited about it and i'm gonna keep you guys like um posted on like how's it going for me and stuff like that but i'm, de I'm definitely gonna be like super consistent manifesting every day like every day is a new day for some new goals like period so <laughs> 